Passengers who use a smart card on public transport are being promised to a more, more joined up system from today. The Scottish Government and transport operators are bringing out more advanced smart cards to allow people to move between different operators using the same card. Here's our transport correspondent, David Henderson. Every day, thousands of us are on the move. But if you go by public transport, it isn't always simple. A journey which requires you to hop on and off, to move between bus or train or tram, can mean having to buy a different ticket every time. For many, seamless travel with a single ticket is an attractive option. Yeah, it would make it a lot easier, especially when you have to like have links to different places if you didn't have to stop to buy another ticket to get somewhere else. Today, some progress towards that goal. For commuters who use a smart card to pay for their travel, there's a new system in place. It means a single smart card can be used, even if you jump between rival operators. What we've had to do is to work with all of the partners across bus, rail, uh, underground and also uh, in the, the ferry network to make sure that they're all using similar technology that allows us to be able to have this single card. For now, this technology is incorporated into a smart card, but within the next couple of years, it should be possible for it to be incorporated into your mobile phone. So that's all you'd need to travel. But critics say this new system needs to go much further. Having a daily price cap, which means you can easily hop from the bus to the subway to the train and know that you're not going to get charged each time for each journey would be massive. And, up, and ultimately, we need to bring down the cost of public transport hugely to get people to leave their cars behind. Transport operators say fare caps and other deals are options for the future, but that may need more cooperation between bus firms if passengers are to benefit. David Henderson, reporting Scotland.